Okay, the Legends on track for their meeting final here at Ipswich tonight. Our final race on the programme for the Stocks Cart Racing League this evening as part of their winter series. This uh, the second of four non-contact formulae on the bill this winter. Following the UK Modifieds last week at Northampton, we also have the Super Rods and National Hot Rods to come. But we're focusing now on the Legends for their final start over 25 racing laps. Nine on track. 142 Tom Knight will start on pole alongside 121 Kai Pally. Row two on the grid will be 135 KB Lang and 146 Reese Checkley. So that's your first four on the grid. Row three just making their way round now. That contains 53 Caleb Francis in the very smart Marlboro liveried car. Alongside 105 Callum McGough making a bit of a change from his regular Forte GT racing tonight. And he makes uh, his way into grid position number six. Second group of cars now. Row four inside is 75 Ben Singleton alongside 139 of... Uh, Andy James, the former BBA Supreme Champion at Full Contact Racing. That's in your limited national bangers. Won the title at Mildenhall Stadium a couple of years ago to Mark III Granada. Then on row five and his own is 149, which is going to be Jake Watson. 179, JD Williams, I'm afraid to say, a non-starter. He decided that it was time to go home after heat number three. So he's not with us for this one, but nonetheless, we've got nine of them on track. And these nine have provided with some great action all night. And we're about to see some of the same here, I would imagine. OK, yellow flag goes up. Here we go then with race number five of the evening here at Ipswich. This is the grand final for the UK Oval Track Legends. We are off and rolling. For those curious, the grid for this race is set by four heat races we had earlier on. Highest point score at the front. The heats were 18 laps. This one over 25. Well, on the back straight, then nice and steady they go into turn number three. 20 miles an hour is the speed they must maintain. Race control in their ears over the race either radios. And the green flag is now at the ready. Green flag goes down. And where we go with our Legends final here at Ipswich tonight. Down towards to run. And 1429 heads the charge to turn one. 135 KB Lang makes a sprightly start from row two. Uh, 53 Kelly Francis more so from row three. Knocking Reese Checkley down to fifth place already. Round to complete lap one then. 1-2-1 one, one, Paddy will get triggered as the leader this time as he was just ahead when they crossed the transponder point. And Mavery will get the lead completely around the outside here. But Knighton has got a good run down the inside. And level pegs 1-2-1 one, one of Paddy down the back straight. And Knighton will retake the lead. I suspect upon the scoreboard bend. He will indeed. Oh, Tanger behind as 1-3-9 has uh, come together with 1-4-9 I think. I think Jake Watson locked up, and there's a bit more push and shove at Tom, aren't you? Yep, oh dear, that's not gone entirely to plan. As Andy James gives 149 an assistance into the side of 146 Reese Checkley, who ultimately spins out. So if Reese Checkley had no look at all, well, he wouldn't have any look at all in Legends. Meantime, at turn one, 121 of Pally has gone through to lead, despite a bit of a squeeze there from 1429, the entrance to the turnstile bend, but they both survive it. But 135 KB Lang is now closer than ever and possibly going to challenge the 142 of Knighton for second place. But Knighton cuts the nose off the 135 of Lang and keeps his position for the time being. 53 KB Francis is trying to close in as well. He's running fourth place at the moment in his uh, Marlborough delivery coupe. 139 Andy James is already near a lap down on the charts. He has a black cross to his name as well, following some contact with Jake Watson. Watson incidentally got a black flag as well because he had a bit of a moment at turn number three with Andy James. I think those two may not be on each other's Christmas card list after tonight. Anyway, speaking of... Uh, Bits and pieces going on. 121 of Kai Pally is still our leader from 142 Tom Knighton. 135 Lang is still third place, the regular National Mini Stocks racer. And in fact, looks to the inside of 1429. Nice and leaves the door ajar. And the foot is put well and truly in it by KB Lang, who comes storming through for second place. A very good move there. Oh, there's more banging of wheels and door handles, etc. at turn one. And Lang gets down the inside, although the car may not be as straight as it once was. He's through for second. As they round three and four, one, two, one, Pally. 
He's probably wondering what all the fuss is about behind him. He's away on the front. 105, Callum McGough. He's up to fourth place in the blue and orange sedan. He's chased down by the seven-up liveried car, Ben Singleton, number 75. There, the top five. 53, Kelly Francis has dropped down into sixth position after a spin. And up to seventh in the meantime has gone 139, Andy James, getting past 146, Reese Checkley. But Checkley, I suspect, may be a lap down on the charts after his spin. We'll double-check that all with race control in due course. So round they come to complete the lap. Oh dear, spin on home show. Round goes 146. I think he's always oh, clipped second place. Oh dear. So Kobe Lang has hit the spinning 146 of Chevy. He rejoins and almost wipes out 105. Callum McGough, who has to take to the shale track on the inside. That will not have assisted the tyres on that car very much. He will be covered in shale at this point. So he may take a couple laps of the tyres to turn back on the 105 car. 1429 as a result of the spinning back marker has gone through in two second place dropping 135 Kobe Lang back to third unfortunately the problem there was Reese Checkley in 146 spinning in front of the leaders the son of Carl Checkley an ex-racer in various form of the over the years including lots of classic hot rods and super rods amongst many other bits and pieces that have been raced here there and everywhere 53k the Francis Chucks the Marlboro livery uh, car sideways at two and he uh, had to go at Yarmouth Stadium last year in the back to basic bangers racing uh, a rather undesirable Vauxhall MPV didn't look uh, the uh, most uh, luxurious of cars will say that much but it did the job I'm told so that's all you want from a car in banger racing isn't it 121 Pally still leads to 142 Knighton, then 135 Lang is third. McGoth and Singleton having a dogfight for fourth place still in 105 and 75. Onto the back straight, they now power. All these cars are in the 1250 Yamaha motorcycle engine, so that's the explanation to the screaming engines, and they're doing some of them using about 9,000 RPM in the straights, as you do. McGough in 105 defends his inside line there. 75 singles and can't find a way through as they motor on the back straight once again. Some really uh, fast lap times as well from the Legends here today. Very quick cars indeed. As you expect, they weigh almost nothing and have a lot of power behind them. Anyway, where is our leader? Our leader is coming off turn for it. Still 1 2 1 Kai Pali, our leader. 1 4 2 Tom Knight running second place. That's how it's remained for quite some time. 1 3 5 Kobe Lang. Following his tangle with Reese Checkley is not on the same form he once was. I think there could be a slow puncture on the inside front wheel of that car. So he may be dropping into the clutches of the fourth place battle in the not too distant future. McGough and Singleton are closing at a very rapid rate of knots indeed. So this could make for an interesting race for third in the closing laps of this one for the Oval Track Legends. We've had a few good battles today, but the racing has been largely strung out, but that is not exactly helped by the slightly smaller entry of cars than one would ideally like for a formula such as this. Just the ten of them here tonight, but uh, the ones that have been here have enjoyed themselves, so hopefully that uh, does uh, put the legends in a few people's good books for future meetings should any arise. So 149 of Jake Watson has pulled off. He was given a black flag earlier on after his involvement in the tangle with Andy James. Andy James himself has been awarded a black cross for contact. Oh, move for fourth place possibly is 75 seconds and gets the nose down the inside of 105 of McGough. And McGough has the power on the exit of turn number two to live with the 75 car on his inside line. Now 135 of Langers back to them both up. As that car, as we said earlier on, not in the best of conditions after a tangle earlier on in the proceedings. Down the back straight they go. 135 still seems to pull away coming out of the corners, but in the corners it's a very different. So you can see this pace of the 105 car just closing at the back of the 135 as they go round the bends. And now 75 Simpson makes the dive to the inside of McGough in 105, but can't quite do anything about the blue and orange coupe at this current juncture. 146 Checkley has pulled off as well. Oh, spinner turn four. And 105 McGough has gone around. It's last lap this time as well, Mr. Sider, please. Last lap this time. And it's 1-2-1 one, one of Kai Pali, our race leader. He comes through to start his last lap of the race. 142, 9 second place. 135 Lang could be safe for third here. He's got a decent gap. The back fifth place, though, may not be the same story with Andy James tailgating 53 of Kaylee Francine. My change flag goes down on 121 Kai Pally. Second place is 142 Knighton. Scrap on for third. 75 Singleton looks to the outside on the 
Scoreboard, Ben, can he do anything about it? It's the 1-3-5 of Lang. Well, if Lang shuts the door like that, he can't do very much. So Lang is third, Singleton fourth, fifth place is Kelly Francis.